Here's the Revenge one. Here's the Revenge two. Two headsets, same panel, same resolution. Same resolution, but Steam VR says different. Why? 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 Why this one uh, at 50% has a very, very lower resolution than this one? Because when it says 50, it is 100. <laughs> Isn't it magic? Now it is what it looks like in Steam VR. Uh, this is uh, the Reverb G1. Okay. This is the native resolution of the device, as you can see at 100%. It's really different than uh, the Reverb G2. And uh, if you want to have the exact resolution of the Reverb G2 at 50%, well, the so-called 50%, here we are, 102% for the Reverb G1. Uh, now, if we increase this for sampling at, uh, no, not 150%, but 200%, uh, you see that it is really close from the so-called 100% so -called for the Reverb G2. So you are always oversampling the native resolution by just setting SteamVR global settings at 100% with the G2 compared to the G1, which has the same panel and the same resolution. And now I'm going to show you what is the exact resolution at 50% for the 2160 by 2160 panel of the Reverb G2 and G1. This is the real resolution when the device is set at 50%, 1560 by 1528, and not the resolution displayed by SteamVR for the G2, this one. It is quite obvious, if you had such poor resolution, you wouldn't be able to see uh, SteamVR home so clearly or use your desktop uh, or uh, looking at the gauge of, from DCS and uh, being able to read it. If it was as low as that, it would be just like a Rift S. And if we set at maximum settings the reverb G1 at 500%, this is the resolution, almost the same as the G2 when I set in uh, application settings uh, any games. So, yes, I do not deceive, this is not misleading. This is the actual resolution of the reverb G2. When it's set at 50%, it is actually the very same resolution of the G1, which showed the correct numbers. All right? So when you set at 200%, at 100%, you over uh, sampling uh, your uh, HMD, your G2, at 200%. No wonder it cannot stand. Uh, uh, any uh, frame rate on the very, very demanding games. So, we are back on the Reverb G2. Nothing has changed. Eh? Uh, the panel is still the same, 2160 by 2160, just as the Reverb G G1. And if you set at 25%, or so more or less, because I can set at 24, 26, 24% is almost as the same resolution as the 25% in the Reverb G1 and if you set your device at this resolution you will see what it's like to be at 50% and not at 100% which is shown as 50% in uh, in Steam VR because the headset communicates that way to Steam VR and now they say oh 100% is the actual resolution, but that was for the not the 2000 generation, but the 300 generation. So now, as we 
as if we follow the logic uh, we shall have the native resolution with the 400 cards set at this resolution still with a 2060 2160 by 2160 panel this is ridiculous so when you set at 100 percent your reverb g2 no wonder the frame rate can uh, can stand can stand that frame rate So video settings, the general video settings, same resolution as the G2, it's 102%. And for the G1, now we have the G1 and we have 500% super sampling. How oh, still there and the reverb G1 and the reverb G2 uh, show super sampling differently. Uh, G1 in G2 have the same panels, the same resolutions, but it shows on the left side for the G1 uh, that it run at 100% super sampling and the G2 for the same resolution uh, at 50%. Uh, it would be odd uh, for the G1 to show 100% if that did not match the panel uh, definition. So you got 2160 by 2160 and it says 100 persons and on the right it's 2160 by 2160 and it says oh 50 persons so it doesn't make any sense unless uh, HP wanted to market the G2 as a 4k uh, headset uh, and I think that's why you get this uh, discrepancy Oop. among those two so when I say 500 super sampling when the G2 shows 50% super sampling at a native resolution it is really 500% but people says no it is not but as you can see 100% on the G1 and 500% in the uh, application settings that's 500% so why would it be different for the G2